Normally I don't make videos like this, but this is an error I've never seen before in a Nintendo Switch. It happens when you're using tinfoil in a certain shop, unknown frame descriptor. If you happen to have this problem, I went ahead and found a solution that worked for me as well as many other people. In order to do this, you are going to have to go ahead and delete tinfoil off your Nintendo Switch. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you're just going to go to the home screen and over tinfoil, you're going to press start, manage software, and then delete software. Once that's done, we could go ahead and power off our switch, take out the SD card, put it into our computer, and then from there, we're gonna have to go ahead and delete the tinfoil folder. So once your SD card has popped up on your computer, we're gonna go over to the switch folder. You're gonna have a tinfoil folder. Click on that and delete it. Now, before you do that, I just have to mention that deleting this folder will delete all the shops off your tinfoil. So whatever shops you've added, they're all gonna be deleted. You're gonna have to re-add them. Now, this should not affect any downloaded games, but I thought I would just go ahead and mention that. So once you do this process, you are gonna to have to re-add all the shops, but it should work. So go ahead, delete that tinfoil folder. And then once that's done, we're gonna go back to the root of the SD card. We're gonna to go to this website here, tinfoil.media. It used to be tinfoil.o.io, but they changed it for some reason. So now it's tinfoil.media. Once you're on that website, click the download button, and we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download tinfoil 18.0 NRL self-installer. It may be a newer version when you're doing this, but as of right now, it's 18.0. Once this is done downloading, we're gonna go ahead and bring that to our desktop or find it in our download folder. Once we have that, it should be a zip file. So we're gonna go ahead and right click, extract or open with WinRAR or any other program that you might have. I'm just gonna go ahead and extract all. Wait for that to finish. And then you should have a folder like this. Go ahead, open that up. And it should be switch folder within that folder. Take that switch folder, drag it to the root of your SD card, and it should just populate the tin foil into your switch folder. Once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and pop the SD card out of our computer, put it into our switch. We're gonna boot our switch into recovery mode, and then we're gonna push our payload. So we're gonna wait for this to finish. And then once that's finished, we could go ahead and push our payload. Now, once the switch is back on, we're gonna go to our album. And from there, we can re-download Tinfoil. Just go ahead and click on that. It should download and open up. And like I mentioned, all your shops are going to be gone. So you're going to have to re-put uh, those back in. But that's pretty much it. It should work for you now. Go ahead and add whatever shop you want to go, uh, add by going to the file browser, going over one, and then pressing the minus button to go ahead and add that. If you don't have any shops, I'll leave a link in the description down below to a shop you could go ahead and check out for yourself. If you happen to have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If this works for you, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos. Um, like I said, I don't really make videos on little problems like this, but the fact that this was such a unique problem, I've never seen it on the Switch before, I thought I might as well go ahead and set up a video showing people how to do this. So at least when someone Googles it, my video may pop up and help them. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.